At first glance, this BP seems like just another NYC gas station. This is normally why I'd bring the Mercedes G-Wagon to get some gas before I take my girl and my dog for a road trip upstate. But hidden inside this BP shop is one of the coolest new restaurants in all of Brooklyn, Blue Hour. Picked up quite a few items from Blue Hour hidden inside the BP gas station and brought them to a nearby Bushwick Park. There's been a lot written about Blue Hour, so we've been super hyped to try to spot out. First up, we got the Smash Burger. This is a single patty smash with onions, American cheese. Even though it's one single patty, it's humongous. Check that out. Got some pickles in there, a special sauce, smashed humongous patty, American cheese, and some onions all on a smashed bun. Cheers. This is definitely one of the largest single patty smash burgers I've had in New York City. Completely overlapping the bun, great special sauce, and some pickles to add a little bit of crunch, onions for some great flavor. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's a lot of burger for your buck. Not exactly sure what that special sauce is, but it's a little creamy, tiny bit of spicy kick to it. Very beefy experience here. Yo, on this channel, we've eaten some of the top smash burgers in the Big Apple, Hamburger America, Gotham Social Club. This one from Blue Hour definitely has to be up there. First of all, it's a lot of meat. Even though you're getting that one single patty, typically a single patty smash burger is maybe like that big. This one is like, woo, it's like a sand dollar. The special sauce in there, it's not overpowering. You still get a lot of beef and onion flavor, very cheesy. Overall, a great experience for $7. I don't usually like to talk price, but a $7 smash burger inside a gas station is a winner. Mm, the edges of the patty are nice and crispy. I got to see him making this and incorporating the onions and the cheese and everything like that. Just a really, really dope smash burger. I'm loving this one. After having that phenomenal smash burger, it's time for yet another blue hour menu item. This is an order of their chicken tendies. Yes, I said that correctly. Chicken tendies, not tenders. Fried up to perfection, sprinkled with a little parsley. Very beautiful. And they actually don't look like how they looked in the menu. Almost look like a Popeye's fried chicken or like a tempura style fried chicken. These look like very traditional American American style chicken tenders. We got a couple of dipping sauces. We got the Dragon Boy sauce and the ranch sauce. Before I do anything, we gotta check out how humongous that chicken tender is. This is almost the size of like a chicken breast that I eat after I work out. Put Blue Hour on your list if you're a weightlifter, if you're trying to bulk. Nice big chicken tender, I'm gonna try it without any sauce. Cheers. Ooh, juicy chicken, check that out. Mm. I'm gonna dip it in a little uh, Dragon Boy sauce. They also have a Dragon Boy chicken sandwich and this is the sauce that comes with it. Ooh, spicy. Wow. Super duper crispy and I love the finishing of parsley on here. I need to cool this off with a little bit of ranch. This is amazing. You ought to be honest with y'all, I can't even tell you the last time I ate chicken tenders because typically it's something that you find on the kids menu. I just had to order it from Blue Hour though. With the very crispy, chicken inside is juicy. These are hearty pieces. Like I got big ass hands. So you can see this is already half that I ate and there's still so much meat left. I love sandwiches, but when you want to cut out the middleman, you get some chicken tendies from Blue Hour. Mmm. So crispy. Now Dragon Boy sauce, you gotta be careful because the dragon will roar and spit fire at you. We've had some fire chicken sandwiches on the channel. Never chicken tendies until now, so it's really good to throw it back to an old classic. Salud. Salió el pollo loco. All right, my boys, I like to be honest with y'all. Even though I go for those gourmet and mom and pop type of restaurants today, back in college, it was a slightly different story. When I was in Gainesville cheering on my gators and studying engineering, I liked to go to Taco Bell for those late night cravings. You know, after the club, after partying with the homies, Taco Bell, open till 4 a.m. It was just a clutch move every single time. Gorditas, hard tacos, soft tacos, cinnamon twists, and of course, 
the Crunch Wrap Supreme. Now for legal purposes, I must inform you that this food item that we picked up from Blue Hour is the Crunch Wrap Supreme. And what you got here is a ginormous tortilla with some ground beef in there, lettuce, tomato, sauce. And you know what? Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. This is the ultimate hunger stopper right here. It's got like everything that you're craving at three in the morning. And even though it's a beautiful summer afternoon, I'm looking at this like, hey, I worked out all week. they are working hard on my gains. And now it's time for a little reward. You might have guessed the secret ingredient is the hard taco shell inside. Got some spicy, savory ground beef in there, sour cream, iceberg lettuce, chopped up tomatoes, and the secret ingredient, the hard taco shell, all wrapped up in a beautiful, humongous flour tortilla. When you're hungry, it's 3 a.m., you gotta bring in the closer. This one will do the job. Thankfully, I've been lifting all week, got myself a 5K in there, chicken breast, broccoli, rice, you know, that's the standard diet, but on the weekends, I get a little treat like the Quench Wap Supreme. Mm. Only thing that'll make this perfect is some fire sauce. So far, Blue Hour is definitely coming through, hitting those nostalgic notes. Blue Hour has been open for a couple of months now, but something that's brand new to their menu is the crown jewel. On this sandwich, you got fried eggplant, you got a chicken cutlet, mozzarella cheese, some arugula on here. So, you know, you get your smash burger, you get your quench wrap supreme, you get your chicken tendies, maybe some tater tots or french fries, but then you gotta class up the meal a little bit by getting the crown jewel. This is like something you'd find at an Italian deli in Brooklyn, but instead it's hidden inside a BP gas station. Cheers. I also saw him drizzle balsamic vinegar on the bread before he assembled this massive sandwich. This is a classic type of sandwich. Fried eggplant, mozzarella, chicken cutlet. I'm gonna be honest, the bread is not so great, but everything inside is really good. Not so heavy, not so greasy, even though you got fried eggplant, fried chicken cutlet in there. So it's a really good sandwich and something that, like I said, it classes up the meal a little bit. This is something that's a little bit more grown and sexy, if that makes any sense. Mozzarella cheese is melting in there, really toasty, kind of like a panini. The fried eggplant flavor is really good, and it's not every day that you can get eggplant unless you are Kid Icarus. All right, fellas, y'all know I'm hitting my protein goals for today, but you know, I gotta throw a little side order in there, some extra carbs. You know, it is the weekend after all. Like I said, I have protein shakes during the week, and I really try to reduce my carbs, but the weekend is where I have a little bit of fun. You know, it's not all like seriousness in the gym, sweating and grunting and eating a bland diet all the time. So, you know, I had to go with the tater tots and they gave us a massive amount. Got some onion aioli to dip it in. Mmm. Good tater tots that finished off with some parsley. Very oniony aioli, so good. Wow. I, I think, I bet you that onion aioli is what they put on the smash burger. It tastes very similar. So the only thing with this is they're not so crunchy because they put them in this box and there's a lot of condensation that builds up. So they need something that has a little bit of ventilation, but regardless, it's still a little crunchy, still really good flavor. Who doesn't love tots, right? Like I said, Blue Hour is serving up those nostalgic treats, the smash burger, the tots, french fries. We even got some lemonade on the way. Mm. Good sauce, good tater tots, an excellent side dish. Go. You can't forget about the beverage on the side. This is the maracuya, AKA passion fruit lemonade. They threw in an extra one for us, which was very nice of them. I appreciate that. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Nice blend, two strong fruit flavors, passion fruit and lemon. It's like 50-50 split down the middle. A little bit sour, a little bit sweet, tangy. It is still late summer, so it's nice to have a cold beverage on the side of this amazing food here in the park. Not an expensive meal by any stretch. We got all of this stuff for $50, which is really, really good deal especially here in Brooklyn. That was a great meal from Blue Hour. Definitely gotta check them out. Like I said, they're hidden inside a BP gas station here in Bushwick, Brooklyn. Imagine my surprise when I pulled up in my G-Wagon to BP and saw that they had a restaurant right inside. Of everything we ate today, I gotta say the Smash Burger is my favorite by far. Next up is the chicken tendies. The Quench Wap Supreme was pretty good too. Got the Maracuya Lemonade to wash everything down. Good flavors, really friendly staff there, good prices. They got a few more items on the menu like the Dragon Boy Chicken Sandwich, French Fries. You could even 
even add an extra patty to your smash burger. That would be very massive. I appreciate you watching, bro. Make sure you finesse that like button, subscribe for more food and travel videos, and I will see y'all next time. Peace.